So hello everybody. I see you are looking at my dinosaur collection over there. They're pretty good Mattel dinosaurs. Alright, so in the last episode where I built Lucy her bioactive enclosure, if you haven't seen it, go watch it now. It's really good. So I briefly mentioned that I had a mystery client and a mystery animal that I was going to be building a bioactive enclosure for. You'll see what I've been doing today, but I'm pretty sure that all of you, if I showed you, which I'm sure I showed you, the Terra Arania bags. I'm sure you knew that this was going to be a tarantula set up build. So I'm not going to hide it from you any longer because you probably already know. But in case you didn't know, I'm making a tarantula enclosure. For my client who wants a tarantula, you'll see who he is. So I just wanted to tell you things have been happening a lot, very fast, which is why I might be posting more frequent than usual, which is good. I just been two months offline, so I'm gonna start getting back into the hang of things, posting with the new year. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Ken Wheatley. Anyway, I've always wanted a tarantula. Anyway, I've I've enlisted the help of Hayden's Fish and Reptiles to help me and build the uh, a bioactive enclosure for my tarantula, uh, arriving today. So, yeah, I'm about to uh, build the bioactive enclosure with. Hayden's Fish and Reptiles. This is the tank I'm going to use. It's a vertical tank. Hayden's Fish and Reptiles. This this is a piece of cork. This is going to be a, the hide where the spider can get in like, like it's home. So we'll, uh, we'll be back shortly with more. So we're just putting in the BioDude stuff as usual. The special soil, the biodegradables. You know, that usual stuff that y'all know and love from my channel. So we have built the enclosure. This is how it looks with the sea pods, the biodegradables, the bio shot. You saw us even put springtails in there. And you can see them moving around in there. But this is what it looks with the LED on. Now, keep in mind the plants might, may or may not be coming today. But if they do come today, we're going to plant them. And this enclosure is just going to turn from great to even better. So I'm here in my room doing a voiceover for the scene. So right now we got the striped knee tarantula from Backwater Reptiles. And we're unboxing the tarantula and getting him ready for the enclosure. Now we have everything. They have the heat pack. They have newspaper. They have foam. They have even cotton right there. You see, at this point, I assumed that it was packaged in a little cup. Like a deli cup where you package reptiles and... I thought they did it the same way, and they did. So we got the deli cup out. Now I could see the spider in there. You might not be able to see the spider, but we'll show you this. So we're gonna put him in the enclosure, but we had a slight problem because Wheatley, he actually thought that his spider was. Oh, he's dead on a doornail. Oh, he's dead on a doornail. Oh, he's dead on a doornail. I thought he was faking it, but he said. Oh, he's dead. We put the spider in the enclosure, and as it turns out, he was alive. I'm recording this the day I got the plants, which will be your new footage coming up right now. This is our striped knee tarantula bioactive enclosure. It has a cork bark hide using tropical springtails and the bio shot as our cleanup crew. The two plants are a fern from right here and pothos right here. And the spider is hiding in the back between these two wood pieces of wood. And thank you for the plants and the cork bark and everything that we used to make this enclosure. <laughs> 